Welcome everybody to another episode of Additional Pylons Games. We're playing through Atlas Reactor and we've got a new game mode that we're going to be trying out today. Today we're going to be doing Extraction. So Extraction is a little bit different. Most games, the normal games that uh, Atlas Reactor I've been playing have been deathmatch, basically first to five kills or the most kills after 20 turns. Extraction, on the other hand, is a little bit different. It's kind of a capture the flag-esque uh, game. So I'm going to go ahead and hit ready. And we'll go ahead and get into the game here. So basically there's a briefcase and your team is trying to control the briefcase. Every turn that you, one of your characters on your team has the briefcase in their possession, you get plus one point. If you can kill an enemy, you get two points. So you can either win by having Mission the briefcase started. and bringing it to your extraction zone after a certain period of time, or if you have the most points after 20 turns. So either way. So I've gone ahead and gone with a um, just a bot game here. So I've got a little bit more time each yes, turn play. to explain how the game is played. So you can see we've got the briefcase here, and that's what we're trying to control. That's what we're trying to uh, that's what we're trying to keep track of. So let's go ahead and lay down a mine and lay down some bombs here, just covering the field a little bit. Sure, we'll do a taunt. For kicks Let's come over here. so a couple Something rules that go with the briefcase if you pick up the briefcase you cannot sprint and you cannot use a dash ability if you use it the secret. yes so one of the reasons i chose celeste is because i haven't used her that much Judgment and because calls. i got a new skin with her so why not Just have some fun if you pick up the briefcase you can't use I, I dash know. ability if you do use a dash ability then you end up actually dropping the briefcase so um, it, it's kind of a way to prevent characters that have multi-dashes from dashing in, dashing out, and basically never being able to catch them. Su Ren would be an example. Uh, Kajin, Kaigen, whatever his name is, uh, would be another example as well. Let's go ahead and... Darn it, we can't get that. We can get this. Okay. We gotta target this real carefully. Bring it down. Did I screw that up? I think I screwed that up. And let's go ahead and use our shield. This turn, anyways, um, a little, a little unfocused right now. So, if you dash, you drop the briefcase. If you die, you drop the briefcase. Go figure. And up here, you can see in the top left, you got an indicator of who has the briefcase. So it's Orion. And then you see the damage meter here. If they take 75 damage at this time, Orion will also drop the briefcase. Every time the briefcase is picked up, that damage meter is increased by 15. So the next person that picks up the briefcase will have to take 90 damage in order to drop it. Person after that, 105, then 130. Is that correct? I think so. Anyways, so it becomes progressively harder to dislodge the briefcase from someone's grip. That's the that's the point that you kind of have to take. Out. So there you go. We see that Orion has dropped the briefcase. Pup has now picked it up. Problem is that Pup does not have a lot of health at this time. Uh, can't really hit anyone with our claws except for L. So let's go ahead and reposition a little bit here. Boom. Like so. So again, I'm taking a little bit more time each turn just so that I can explain to you guys some of the some of the reasons, some of the things that I'm doing. So repositioning there, because I figured I was in a little bit of a danger from Blackburn, from Garrison. So you see Blackburn would have targeted me from Orion. They all could have hit me. Elf probably could have hit me with something. But we see here that Pup is dead, so he drops the briefcase. And you see we've got a little, a little interaction there where we have two characters who both went for the briefcase and... So they kind of cancel each other out. So I'm trying to aim for the healing, but Blackburn's in the way, so we're just gonna have to go for the damage instead. Uh, again, taking a little bit more time each turn just so I can explain to you guys. So no one has the briefcase at this time. You can see the points one to three. That's because we've held the briefcase for one turn. They've held the briefcase for one turn and they've got one kill. That kill is pop. So a couple implications on just the games that I've been playing, the things I've experienced. Um, a lot of times, 
it's too much of a tug of war and you're actually not able to get a good handle on the briefcase. If that's the case, then a lot of times actually it just becomes a, a match of trying to kill the enemy as much as possible. Second, um, so here we go. Aurora's got the briefcase. Let's go ahead and lay down some cover for her. So we'll do grenade here, grenade here, and third one there. We'll go like that. And this one is worth the wait. So one of the other implications, like I was saying, is that you. effects like slow and weaken are actually much more powerful, I find, are much more powerful in this game mode Your than case. in deathmatch. The reason being, if the enemy has enough points and they're trying to bring briefcase back to their extraction point, the best thing I can do a lot of times is not damage the player, but actually slow him for a couple of turns, preventing him from moving towards the extraction zone. Same thing with my own, uh, with my own players, with my own teammates. A lot of times, the best thing I can do is make sure that they survive, not. Um, you know, let's just go with our regular, and then we'll come over here and hide. Like to see you buggers dodge this one. So again, a lot of times, status effects are the most impactful way to hurt an enemy's ability to maintain it in the briefcase rather than the actual damaging them. So Aurora has dropped the briefcase, Pup has picked it back up. One of the other things, okay so here's our extraction zone way down here. If we get the briefcase down here, we win the game. So let's go ahead and do some big damage to Orion. We'll pick up some energy, and then we'll come back here in hiding. So Pop is going to move his way, work his way down to the extraction zone. I always have backup. We'll see if he can make it there. The other thing you'll see here is the uh, little debuff here, the hand. It's called Butterfingers. Basically, if you drop the briefcase, then you're prevented from picking the briefcase back up for two turns. So this prevents players from intentionally being damaged for some reason or taking so much damage, but then still tanking it, like Rampart or Phaedra here, one of the new characters, and uh, being able to just continuously picking up the briefcase. Let's go ahead and try and take Blackburn out. Here's my payday. So as you can see, it's a little bit of capture the flag. It's a little bit of controlling the area. It's um, very similar. It's kind of like the, the open. How do I put this? The way that I kind of view it is Overwatch version of rugby or American football, right? You're trying to control the ball, you're trying to control the briefcase, you're trying to get it to the end zone, you're trying to get it to uh, the extraction zone, and if you have the briefcase, then you're definitely a major target. Okay, so Pup may not survive. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to reposition myself here and then here put down a trap and what I'm going to do and the reason I'm doing this I'm repositioning myself I've got 111 health pup is somewhat hidden here if I can tank any of his damage then I'll have done my job so you can see right there I just tanked the damage for him so instead of him taking damage and possibly dying or dropping briefcase he actually survived, so you can see that 34 damage made the difference right there. He would have been, he would have dropped the briefcase right here. But because I repositioned myself and got him into a safe spot, we, for whatever reason, he decided not to go into the extraction zone that turn. Um, okay. Well, I might die, but even if I do, we're going to go ahead and just spread the grenade love around. So, in case anybody tries any tricks or anything like that, we'll just do that. Yeah, I know I'm out of time. Do you know what I'm going to do? The other thing that I can do is I can follow Pup. So, if by some miracle I do actually survive, which I'm really not expecting to, I also don't expect Pup to drop it just because um, the only person I can hit him is Garrison. I'll kill you anywhere. 
and I don't think Garrison can do enough damage anyways. We're punching above yeah. your weight, figuratively. There we go. So we survived. And Pup still has the briefcase. So that means that we're going to win the game. We actually won this one pretty handily. Uh, you'll see by 10 points here. Pup got to the extraction zone. And there we are. That's a win. We've already got our next score lined up. All right. So that is a brief look at extraction. I'm going to go ahead and play another game. And uh, so, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and play a couple more games, actually. But I'll do that off screen. Uh, so if you have any questions on how extraction works, if you want to, you know, keep watching, I'll be playing some other games. Um, like I was saying, I think that personally, uh, status effects are much more important in, in this game, in this game mode. And uh, if you have Atlas Reactor, if you've installed it, I encourage you to give it a try. Make sure that you familiarize yourself with the with the uh, the rules a little bit. Try it out with some bots, that sort of thing. I'm going to be playing as some support characters just to level them up and, and have some fun with them. So until then, I'll see you next time here on Additional Pylons Games. Hit like and subscribe. Check out the other series going on on the channel. Leave a comment or like below. Uh, connect with me on Twitter. And I'll see you soon here on APG.